Hello YouTube, I believe this other one came from. By the way, we already showed you guys where it came from, so we won't worry about it. But, yeah, we're actually going to rip this one open too, because, well, you know, just to show you guys. Maybe I'll buy another one, but this was kind of pricey at 12 bucks. But, yeah, it's a Coca-Cola product, and I said 1994. Does anybody know what happened in 1994? You walk into a Circle K to buy a Thirst Buster, they give you a bunch of cards. Actually, these cards also came in 12 packs, too. Boom! Monsters of the Gridiron. How many of you people remember these cards? These are these are sick. Now, let me get to cracking it open. Oh, yes, a nice clean rip. Perfect. Now we can get these cards out. They're kind of in there. Nice. One thing you could do with these cards, or one thing you could do is uh, they actually had a promotion. You could call and you could win stuff. I want a Randall Rocket Man Cunningham poster, and I don't know what happened to it. But yeah, there's a little checklist of all the names. If you guys can see that on the back, too. Anyways. You guys don't have to worry about that. We're going to show them right now. Look at Eric the Red from the Kansas City Chiefs. Eric Swan. Monsters of the Great Art. These were... Oh, no, not the not, not the Chiefs, the, the freaking Cardinals. That was back when they were still playing as the Phoenix Cardinals. The Tarantula, Jesse Tuggle. Look how sick these cards are. I, I had to buy these. Let's see. The, from, he's from the Falcons. But the Tarantula... That is, that's pretty cool. Cornelius Bennett, Big Bear. I remember him the most because that guy had like the majority of my cards that I had found were a Big Bear. Cornelius Bennett, Buffalo Bills. Carolina Panthers, of course, they were they didn't start playing yet, so they didn't put anybody on for their card. And I believe it's one one player per per team for all these. Chris Storch, Zorro, the Bears. How many people remember Chris Storch? Pretty cool. <laughs> really sweet. I like these cards. I, I really did. I just, I don't think I ever completed the set, though. That's the one thing that always, that always got me when I was younger. Dan Wilkerson, Big Daddy. And actually, Big Daddy carried over because he was always Big Daddy to everybody when he played football. From the Bengals. Eric Bulldog Turner, Bad Bone. How many people remember Big Dog, Big uh, Bulldog Turner? Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Browns, and this one's a this was a cool one. I hated the Cowboys growing up, but this was a cool one. Emmett Lone Star Sheriff Smith, really nice card. Hard to believe people are trying to charge ten bucks for this card on eBay when you could get this entire set for twelve, sealed. Yeah. Damn it, Smith, the Cowboys. Steve Atwater from the from Denver Broncos, the Bandit. Pretty sick cards, man. I miss I miss when they would do stuff like this. A lot of the promo cards back in the days were really cool stuff. This was from I think a uh, classic, yeah, classic. If it wasn't for classic, we wouldn't have gotten cool stuff like this. There's Pat Swill uh, Chillin' Swillin, and actually that was his nickname too in uh in football from the Lions. <clears throat> Sean Jones, Ghost. No, on my, on my, you know, on my, uh, this is one of the things I like to do on my, on my, uh, channel. Well, no, I'm about showcasing stuff that people probably haven't seen or hadn't seen in years, or this is the first time it's been seen on YouTube or a mix of all three. People know that's how I roll. Sean Jones, the ghost. I believe Houston, right? Oh, Green Bay. Ray Childress, the Scarecrow. Now that's Houston. That's gotta be. Because I remember Childress played for Houston. Damn, these are kind of sticking just a little bit. Yeah. That's the Oilers. Houston Oilers. Not the Texans. Or the Titans. This is a cool one, but I don't know why the hell they named him the Missile. Because remember, as we know, Raghav is the Missile. No, no, Raghav is the rock, the Rocket. Cadre is the Missile. Why did they uh, 
name Marshall Falk the missile. Maybe the Ishmael brothers weren't in the league by at that time yet. But yeah, Marshall Falk got the missile. From the Colts. Next thing we get the Jaguars. And they get, like, just like the Panthers. Because remember, they didn't play yet. They hadn't played, started playing yet. Why didn't they stick with that helmet? That helmet looked cooler. Okay, here's the Chiefs. Rest in peace, but this was a hell of a freaking card. Derek Thomas, Attack Cat. The Raiders are next. Chester McLaughlin. That's a name I remember too. Renegade Raider. Sean Conlan, the Barbarian from uh, the Rams. Or Shane. Yeah, Shane Conlan. This one was a cool one too. The Cobra, Marco Coleman of the Dolphins. Yeah, like I said, if it wasn't for them, for, for Beckett, I got to give them props because they just they're like, hey, they just put a post out there. Anybody remember these? And I'm like, wait a second. I need to go see if they had this on, on eBay and grab me some. Here's a really sweet one from the Vikings. Runaway train, John Randall. And he was a freaking train. There's uh, the pile driver, Bruce Armstrong. The Patriots. Too bad Tom Brady wasn't in the league yet. I wonder if they would have used him instead. Ronaldo Turnbull, the raging, raging bull, you could say. Saints. Yep, the Saints. Oops, dropped my Nolan Ryan cards. Let's see, we got Jumbo John Elliott of the Giants. That one's stuck. Okay. Guess we got, oh yeah, <laughs> this is another one of my favorite ones. They got another snake. We got the Rattler, Ronnie Lott. Too bad he wasn't a 49er there. That's him in the Jets. Yeah, see, he was a Jets player at that time. Sucks because he should have been one of those guys who stayed on the same team his entire career. And here we go. This is the poster that I got. The Randall Rocket Man Cunningham. I actually got the poster of this. The first man in uh, history, the first man in history quarterback to run for 900 yards, which was eventually topped by Mike Vick, who became the first and only quarterback to run for 1,000 yards in a season. Neil O'Donnell, known for throwing that freaking Super Bowl against the Cowboys. Piece of crap. How the hell do you, how the hell do you have wide open men in the red zone and throw two freaking interceptions straight to the guys that you're not supposed to be throwing to? And he threw it straight to them. What a piece of crap, man. Night Raider, though. He should have been given piece of crap, not Night Raider. Yeah, there's Pittsburgh Steeler. There's a lot of other people they could have put. What about Kevin Green? How come he didn't get a card? But Neil O'Donnell, the guy who threw the Super Bowl? Okay. Yeah. Still, these are sweet cards. Oh, man, here's another rest in peace. The Chargers, Junior Seau, Stealth. Really sweet cards, man. Here's our 49er. Tom Rathman, the Cycle. Possibly the greatest fullback of all time. You can't compare it anybody else to Tom Rathman. This is a sweet one. From the Seahawks. Tez Rex. Cortez Kennedy. Didn't he pass away too? Last time I remember he did. He was another solid football player back in the days though. Huh, this one's crazy. Hardy Nickerson, the hyena. They really see monsters of the gridiron. They've really made them into monsters for the Bucks. And here you go. Ken Harvey, the jackhammer from the Redskins. So, what do you guys think? You guys, did any of you guys actually saw those when you guys were younger? These were freaking amazing cards. I really liked it. I really liked this entire set. I just, like I said, that I've seen all the cards. I saw the cards when I was younger. It's just I didn't, I didn't get to collect them all. I think I had maybe. 15 20 out of the entire set but anyways thanks for watching we'll see you guys on the next video laters